Hi everybody. My name is Alyssa and um yeah. I said on Facebook that I would do this on Wednesday if for people because I felt bad about my last video being so late. And then I fell asleep yesterday, so I felt bad. And then I pretended like this was a compromise doing it today, but in reality it's just because I feel bad and guilty and stuff. So Thumbs up if you like guilt. Yes, tomorrow I'm still gonna put out a video because it's Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. So, Aries rising. Paulo? Paulo, is that a bug there? Or are you just such a douche? So something that I've noticed about Aries risings, they are generally really, really friendly. Aries rules the first house. So your first house falls in Aries. But they do seem to know themselves a little bit more than other people. And they also don't seem to worry as much about what other people think of them. They are like, mm, this is the way that I am. Cool. Most people like Aries Risings. Even when they have Capricorn stelliums. Or whatever. Everyone should basically know right now that my husband is Scorpio with an Aries Rising and I'm a Libra so I fall on his descendant side he has in general dated a few hundred Libras and when we're watching like say we're watching the TV or something or like a movie and he'll be like wow that girl's really pretty I always get really jealous and I look up at like IMDB and I always find out that that girl is a Libra Aries people in general are going to be attracted to Libras because it is on their descendant side but also because of Libra being on their other side they they see people as they're all Libras and they see people as flaky wishy-washy um, indecisive they don't like that because an Aries rising itself is going to be very decisive very opinionated and do things on their own they're not going to want help because Aries is the first house ruler the ascendant falls right there at the first house they do things for themselves by themselves sometimes they can come across as a little bit selfish they're take charge type people they're warriors they're ambitious they they just go and do it they don't think necessarily before they do it they make great leaders because they can just make a decision very quickly they don't have to weigh it out sometimes they can come across as I don't know not very fair because Libra does fall on their descendant and Libra likes to be fair and weigh things out an Aries rising isn't gonna do that they're just gonna go with their gut and I mean if they're a good person their guts normally gonna be right right okay, so I don't know if you can hear it but there's like something going on outside it's making this noise anyway sometimes in relationships or business partnerships or other sort of things like something that has to do with another person next to you the Aries rising can stomp all over that not because they're mean people in general but because they don't really think about the feelings of others first I always say this to people when I'm reading charts or whatever I'm doing talking about something is that for some reason the word selfish has a lot of negative connotations and the word selfless has a lot of positive but in reality neither one is a positive or a negative thing if you are a selfish person, good for you. You're taking care of yourself, right? If you're a selfless person, good for you. You're taking care of other people. But if you are 100% selfish or 100% selfish, selfless, each one is bad. You need a balance. Aries is the ascendant and Aries is selfish. So you are going to think first to protect yourself. And then you are going to then protect other people. And sometimes if you're not thinking about it, you don't realize that there's other people there that also have an opinion. I've met a lot of Aries Risings who actually are a little bit insecure. They come across as cocky. But as your persona, you you interject this feeling that you know you know about yourself, that you are yourself. But you don't that's not necessarily the case with people because they have so much more depth behind this Aries rising. Now, an Aries rising is going to be picked for promotions, is going to be looked at like they know what they're talking about, they're, they're going to be able to work in a fast-paced environment. Doesn't necessarily mean that that person is fast-paced. Doesn't necessarily mean that person is a take-charge kind of person. At first, yes in that work situation they can be they can rise to the occasion they know exactly what to do they can even manipulate a little bit I would say you're like a work hard 
play hard type person. You're going to make that money so that you can have fun. Because, I mean, Aries, if anything, is fun. Aries wants to have fun. Aries wants to be pleasure as well as it wants work. Because Aries is Mars. Aries is fiery and exciting. Aries is selfish in that way of protecting itself from bad things. And so, in general, it wants to be surrounded by these beautiful, good things. It really does make you a likable person. Though I've known a lot of Aries Risings, <clears throat> my husband, who goes home and just plays Call of Duty all day when he gets off work because it takes a lot out of you to be an Aries Rising and to be perfectly happy and chipper all the time, when in general, you might actually hate people. You might actually not want to be in the positions you're in, but you're forced in there because you're really good at it. Sometimes people can think that you might be simple, that you don't have a lot going on, that you're not really deep and that there's nothing really there. And in reality, a lot of Aries Rising are extremely deep and they have extreme amount of things going on, but they, they don't show it. They are consistently freaking really good at hiding that from the general population because they just want to get things done, work hard, play hard. People judge them for the way that they are, but they normally don't really care because like I said, they, they put themselves first. All of their planets align in the house that is the sign. They are what they are and they know that. And even if they're insecure and even if they're shallow, deep, maybe they're happy or they're sad, they know how what to do to get their work done and to just lead the life that people are going to respect and move up in business and everything like that. To all you Aries Risings out there that are a little bit deeper than people give you credit for, sorry. I want to be there and give you a big hug, but you won't accept my hug because you don't like to be touched. <laughs> you tore that, that shit up behind you. What are you doing? Are you going? You want to say something to me? Ruru, what is that? Our. Look at Apollo, what are you doing down there? Yeah? I'm gonna talk to this thingy. Say, please subscribe to my channel. Look at your stupid beard. Wanna squeak your toy? Wanna lick your balls? My name's Alyssa. Um, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing moon signs next, maybe. Yeah, I know I am. Anyway, um, and tomorrow should be Pisces Rising, maybe. I'm not gonna promise you anything because I'm a fucking liar and I'm a flaky fuck. Oh, and uh, if you haven't yet, psh, like my Facebook so I can talk to you because I like talking to people, even if I'm flaky as fuck. Whatever. Anyway, um, bye.